Thanks to all those people who have sent me questions, all the homeowners and installers, all about pump problems. So this video and the next one hopefully should answer your questions. So please watch to the end, subscribe and like the channel. Poor circulation is due to the fact that there's not enough 22 mil leaving the boiler, especially a combi boiler, and going to the end of the house and then teeing off in short runs of 15 mil. And that's why the pump gets overheated and it takes forever to warm up. In the spring and autumn, it's a good idea to turn the boiler thermostat down to about 60 or maybe halfway. That puts less stress on the pump and the boiler and also saves a great deal of money. A new boiler hanging on the wall will be around 88% efficient and the boiler thermostat will be set to 75 or somewhere near it. So the condensing period is going to be extremely short or non-existent. The installer has to then balance the system and the automatic bypass to bring the temperature on the boiler to 60, the return temperature to 40, and that means the boiler will condense 24 seven, super economy, cheap to run. To measure a ground frost analog pump, we put the multimeter onto DC and we should have a reading between 150 and 300 ohms. If the system is in a three bedroom semi or smaller, then the ohmage we should read is 200 to 225. The smaller the system, the higher the resistance number, but the maximum would be 300 ohms. If you've got a larger property, then it's going to be between 150 and 200 ohms. Less resistance, bigger system. Have a look at the wattage on the label. It should read around 100 watts for a three bedroom semi, depending on the location. So if it isn't that, or it's more than eight years of age, I would replace it for one of the new UPS models. Please have a look at some of my other videos to do with pumps, because there's a lot of information there which you may find useful. Our yellow central heating fault finding faults is crammed full of hints and tips and solves many problems. You can order a copy from the website mrcombi.com. Often a fault appears to be the pump, but it isn't. It's the systems, it's the balancing, it's everything else except the pump. The yellow book covers lots of that. So do the apps and my other videos on YouTube. To help installers and homeowners, we also produce an orange book, all to do with wiring, where I've put in the most popular mid position, two zone, three zone, nest hive drawings in colour. Easy to follow and available from the website, mrcombi.com in the shop. And there are apps to back it up as well. Our apps are all one price, $4.99. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel. The next episode to do with pump problems is coming up shortly. Take care.